Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, triangle ABC along with this uh, angle bisector CD as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this angle uh, ACD is equal to this angle uh, BCD and both angles are represented by X degrees and moreover this side length uh, AC is one unit whereas this side length uh, BC is uh, two units and furthermore uh, this segment uh, CD is equal to this segment uh, BD and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this triangle uh, ABC please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's get started. And here's our very first step. Let's recall the angle bisector theorem. Here we got uh, triangle ABC along with this uh, angle bisector CD. If this uh, side length is represented by lowercase a, this side length is lowercase b, this segment AD is represented by C and this uh, segment uh, BD is lowercase d then we have a proportion in other words uh, A divided by B equals to C divided by D let's assume that this side uh, is lowercase uh, a this side is uh, lowercase b this segment is lowercase c and this segment is uh, lowercase uh, d then uh, this equation could be written as uh, C divided by d equals to a in our case is 1 and b is in our case is 2 so i can write uh, 1 divided by 2 and since uh, this ratio equals to this ratio so therefore we can write uh, c equals to 1 times some constant k and d is going to be equal to 2 times some constant k as well so therefore our this uh, segment AD turns out to be 1 times K and this segment uh, BD is uh, 2 times K. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, BD segment uh, equal to CD. If this segment is uh, 2K then this segment is going to be 2K as well. And now we can see that this uh, triangle BCD is an isosceles uh, triangle since this side length uh, equal to this uh, side length and since this is an isosceles triangle so therefore this angle is going to be equal to this angle which is uh, x degrees and now let's recall the exterior angle uh, theorem according to this theorem exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of uh, two opposite uh, interior angles as you can see in this uh, diagram here we can see this angle C is our exterior angle whereas uh, these uh, two opposite interior angles are A and uh, B such that uh, angle C equals to A plus B and here in our case uh, this angle is going to be our exterior angle and that is going to be equal to the sum of these uh, two opposite interior angles X plus X so this exterior angle is going to become uh, 2 times X and now let's make an observation we can see this whole angle uh, ACB is going to be X uh, plus X is going to make uh, 2 times uh, X and now let's recall the triangle sum theorem the sum of three interior angles in a triangle is always 180 degrees and now let's focus on this uh, triangle ABC this angle is uh, X this whole angle is uh, 2 times x so therefore this uh, angle has got to be 180 degrees minus uh, 3x so therefore we can see that this uh, bigger triangle uh, abc is going to be similar to this uh, smaller triangle uh, dac according to angle angle similarity theorem so therefore we are going to have a proportion in other words uh, the ratio of this whole uh, a b and uh, a c is going to be equal to the ratio of this uh, a c and uh, this segment uh, a d so therefore i can write uh, ratio of a b 
and uh, AC is going to be equal to the ratio of uh, AC and uh, AD. And now we know that this whole uh, side length uh, AB is going to be 1K plus 2K is going to make uh, 3 times K. So therefore of this segment uh, AB is going to be 3 times K and our AC length uh, is uh, 1. So I'm going to replace it by 1. Likewise this AC length is going to be 1 and finally this uh, AD length uh, is going to be 1 times uh, K as you can see in this uh, next step and now we are going to cross uh, multiply so therefore we are going to have a 3K square equals to 1 let's divide both sides by 3 to isolate uh, K so therefore uh, K square turns out to be 1 divided by 3 and now we are going to undo this square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides on the left hand side this square and square root is gone so therefore k turns out to be 1 divided by square root of 3 and now we are going to rationalize the denominator by multiplying uh, and dividing by square root uh, of uh, 3 and here square root of 3 times square root of 3 is going to be 3 so therefore our k value turns out to be square root of 3 divided by 3 and now let's make an observation once again this whole uh, a b length uh, is 3 times k and our k value is uh, square root of 3 divided by 3 so therefore this could be 3 times square root of 3 divided by 3 and if we simplify that is going to give us uh, square root of 3 so therefore our this side length uh, a b turns out to be square root of uh, 3 and now let's make an observation we can see this side length uh, a c of this triangle a b c is uh, 1 this uh, side length b c is uh, 2 and finally this side length uh, a b is uh, square root of 3 and now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, a b c this is our special 30 60 90 triangle and here our 30 degrees is smallest angle and this 90 degrees is our largest angle and in such kind of special 30 60 90 triangle uh, this uh, smallest leg uh, is always uh, 1 this uh, longest leg uh, is always uh, 2 and this uh, third leg is uh, square root of 3 in other words in such kind of special 30 60 90 triangle uh, the lengths uh, of this uh, triangle is going to be 1 2 and uh, square root of uh, 3 and here we can see in this uh, triangle uh, ABC our side lengths are 1 2 and uh, square root 3 as well so therefore we conclude that this uh, angle uh, BAC is going to be 90 degrees this angle is going to be 60 degrees and finally this angle is going to be 30 degrees so therefore we conclude that this uh, triangle uh, ABC is indeed uh, a right uh, triangle where this angle BAC is 90 degrees and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this triangle uh, ABC and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times base uh, times height and in our case our base is square root of 3 and the height is 1 so therefore the area of this triangle ABC is going to be 1 divided by 2 times base is square root of 3 times our height is 1 let's simplify the right hand side and that is going to give us a square root of 3 divided by 2 square units so thus the area of this triangle ABC turns out to be square root of 3 divided by 2 square units and that is going to be equal to approximately 0 0.866 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.